Black Templars, turn four, Assault Phase. I went ahead and just piled these guys in. And also the Terminators on the Defiler, they were within plenty of range. The Dreadnought needs to make a difficult terrain test to make it into close combat. He'll need a five. And okay, that'll do it. So the Dread piles in. Okay, uh, let's do this thing. First combat, we start with highest initiative. That's the Chaplain with a five. And he has three attacks base, extra weapon, plus uh, charging. Three plus for preferred enemy. Plus, he gets re-rolls because the Chaplain has a power called Litanies of Hate. So they re-roll misses him and the unit he's with the first turn. That's four from the Crozius Arcanum. Strength four, that would be um, two wounds, no save. That kills these two guys. Okay, now at initiative four, the other 23 guys. I've already measured out the dice. Oh yeah, lots of dice. Get a wheelbarrow, back it up, and pour them onto the table. Okay, three ups. There's two misses, three misses, four misses. Let's re-roll. Okay, so 21 hits from the Black Templar squad. And here's the wounding on four ups. Wow, okay, great. And here's the armor saves for that last guy. And, yep, he fails at least three of them. So this guy is completely obliterated. Wow, so much for them. Okay, now in this combat, this is an independent character. And I was reading up, and basically models engaged with him can uh, allocate their attacks to him. That means whoever's in base-to-base or within two inches of somebody that's base-to-base uh, -base contact. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take these guys here, uh, the Melta Gunner, the Power Fist, and these two, and allocate them on him, and then the other four on the surviving Raptor. And uh, away we go. Uh, highest initiative is the Chaos Lord with five, and he gets three attacks base, extra weapon. And here we go. I can't remember if he had Mark of uh, Cahorn. That would be uh, two hits and two guys uh, decimated. And um, I don't know how that works, but we'll just uh, take those two for the sake of argument. Okay, everybody else is resolving an in initiative four except for the uh, Power Fist guy. So let's do Melt a Gunner on the Chaos Lord. Hits, wounds, and the Chaos Lord makes his save. Uh, now the other guys, each uh, with uh, one attack base, one for extra weapon, one for charging. So there's three, six, nine, twelve. So let's pull those out. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And away we go. Three ups with re-rolls. That's amazing. Oh, no. No re-rolls, just three ups. Because uh, they're not with the chaplain. Okay, and there is uh, two, four, six wounding hits. This is on the raptor. And yes, he fails. So he is hideously killed. Okay, and uh, now the uh, power fist guy. He's a, I think he's a sarge. Plus one, extra weapon, plus one for charging. Here, here comes the pain. Okay, that's two hits for preferred enemy, and one wound. Uh, the uh, Chaos Lord has the demonic rule. Oh no, two wounds, sorry. So he needs five ups, and he fails one, and he is hideously obliterated due to the instant death rule. Wow, that is very saddening. Let's uh, get on over to the Terminators. This should be exciting. The Lightning Claw guys only have Strength 4. They cannot hurt him. There are three Thunder Hammers in the unit. Quite handsome looking ones, I might add. And uh, they have two attacks base, plus they charged. 
So that would be nine thunder hammer attacks. And away we go. They're at initiative four. Um, the defiler is initiative three, so let's see if the thunder hammer can do anything. Okay, and then that is, remember, preferred enemy, so that's three ups to hit. That vow really can turn the tide of a game completely, especially in a close combat army. Okay, uh, they're like a power fist, so they are strength four times two is eight. Uh, and uh, basically none of these accomplish anything. Uh, however, a, um, a thunder hammer that hits uh, gets uh, crew shaken in addition to uh, anything else. I'm not going to look that up now. We'll figure that out later. Okay, Defiler gets um, uh, an extra attack because he has a Dreadnought close combat weapon, a second one, rather. So he has three attacks, four attacks. Um, and uh, it's Strength 10, no saves, basically. So uh, there is, um, see, his weapon skill is three. So there's three hits and two ups to wound. And there's one, two, three wounds. And so the Termites get their invulnerable save of five up. And there's uh, one save and two guys dead. I think I'm going to take the Lightning Claw guys. Um, their Black Templars are fearless in close combat. So let's just consolidate up. Let's um, roll for... Um, uh, everybody's fearless here. Let's um, roll for um, the uh, the consolidation. Dread, five inches. This unit of Crusaders with the Chaplain, two inches. And this unit here, six inches. So um, that's a tough call. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and call it. Um, I'm actually going to move these guys back. Because, as it turns out, the Cahorn Berserkers can pile out and uh, charge in. So that's really going to be a close call. Let's grab my Gale Force 9 template here. Uh, move these guys back six inches. Uh, let's make sure this is exact, because uh, I think the Berserkers' charge is really going to be close. And then uh, move this guy back. Okay, great. Uh, same thing here. Let's get these guys backed up two inches. Um, that should probably take them out of that difficult terrain, so we'll go ahead and just put that little uh, template back. Wow, it's getting crowded. Um, the Dread, I think the Dread is going to trundle on forward. He's not messing around. Let's just block the way here and keep our, keep our options open. There we go, just to be on the safe side. Okay, these guys are dead. And so that was the score. That is not too shabby. I got completely just wiped off the face of the map with that one. The only thing that uh, acquitted itself nicely was the, uh, the Defiler ended up shrugging it off and still uh, giving the Terminators a, a bloody nose. They're, they're close to not being a scoring unit. So um, that's, that's a really tough call. Uh, quite frankly, if you think I should have consolidated in a different manner, I will be glad to, uh, to change it up for you. Let me just remind you of what that was. It was six inches, two inches, and five inches. Uh, remember, the only thing that matters in this game is this objective right here. That's, uh, that's the only thing that wins you the game. Whoever's closest with a scoring unit. 